Good day everyone, Garage King here, and as you can see, this is my nice pair of van shoes, so this is not an automotive video today, I apologize for that, but you know what, I wanted to protect my shoes, it actually worked, and I want to share this. Okay, so here you can see, here's my shoes, take a quick look at the shoelaces here, and you can see there is a little red stain, most likely I was at a restaurant and maybe dropped some pasta or something like that, not too sure exactly what happened, but there is a red stain, and there's actually a better shot. Uh, you can see, and there's kind of multiple ones. So I think something happened at a restaurant. So the story goes like this. I bought some fabric protector. And the reason I did that is I wanted to protect my VW interior. Now this VW interior, as you can see, is mint for a classic. So I really wanted something good to protect it. So I did tons of research and I thought, you know what? I would buy the best fabric protector. And it worked great on the VW, so I thought, you know, I really wanna use it on my shoes and just see what happens because uh, this stuff is not advertised to work on your shoes, it's advertised to work in your car. So I'm thinking, if it's good enough for the car, it should be good enough for the shoes. So this is the stuff right here. It's just called Fabric, that easy. It's by CarPro, water and stain resistant, says it's hydrophobic, and it even has UV protection. So it'll even protect your shoes from fading if you've ever had fading shoes, I guess, I don't know. So the directions are very simple. Clean the fabric, dry it completely. We're gonna shake up this bottle, we're gonna spray it evenly across the surface, and we're gonna work it into the fabric with the sponge, and then we're gonna just spray it again, and we're gonna let it dry for 24 hours and no contact with water for 24 hours. So it's just gonna be that easy, and you know what? Let's see how well it worked. I kind of gave it away in the beginning, but I know the first question you're gonna have is how to do the shoelaces. Well, you know what? Take a bowl just like this, pour some in a bowl and just soak the shoelaces. It's the only way to get them because you gotta get around 360 degrees. So I thought that's the best way to get the shoe, uh, shoelaces. One quick tip, if you're using a nice bowl, uh, it's, you know, it takes a bit to clean afterwards. Let's just say that. Uh, this stuff is not easy to clean off glass, uh, especially if it dries. So. Quick tip there, that's all, that's all I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say anymore. So now it is time to spray the shoes. So let's give the shoes a good spray. All right, and now that the shoes are sprayed, I'm gonna do exactly what the direction said. I'm gonna take my sponge right here, and I'm just gonna work it into the fabric. Uh, as you can see, the shoes did change a little bit color. Uh, they are a little bit darker now, just because they're wet with this stuff. But don't worry, they dry lighter, so you don't even know they're treated. So you don't think you're gonna change the color on your shoes. So th that's one of the good things. I was a little bit worried that my shoes might discolor after this, but they didn't at all. So really, really good. All I did next was take out the shoelaces, you know, give them a good wring out, and then just let them dry. If you think you've missed any part of your shoe, just give them a quick spray, not a big deal. And you know what, I wanna take you to this clip. Okay, so it rained and this was a few weeks after I did my shoes and take a look at the deck. You can see here the water is still beating. So that is crazy. You can actually see the different color there where, where I was spraying the shoes. And this is a few weeks after, so it held up on the deck. So this stuff has really good hydrophob hydrophobic properties and I'm hoping it's gonna last a long time on the shoes because you know what, it's still on the deck after a few weeks. Okay, so here's the shot you wanna see again. You wanna see just how well it worked on the shoes. And you know what, it's it's absolutely fabulous. And the stuff is holding up pretty well. Like I really can't complain. I'm very, very impressed with this and I would have never thought to use it on running shoes. But you know what, you could probably even use it on like tent fabrics or maybe even like on your uh, carpet in the house or something like that. I don't know, but it's pretty versatile product. So that's pretty good. And it's gonna make my van shoes last just a little bit longer. Once again, I apologize that this isn't an automotive video. I know maybe uh, some of you was, was expecting that, but anyway, promise automotive next week. So don't don't worry about that, but you know what? I just want to do this video because you know I found a really cool product that's really versatile and you could use it just for a multitude of things and it does actually do its job. It works really well. Anyway, that's it. Don't want to waste any more time. Garage King over and out. Catch you next week.